Hey guys, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different and a little bit more casual. I did once mention that I received a birthday packet, a very late birthday package from my sister, and if you don't have me on Facebook, yeah, then you wouldn't have seen it. But my sister got me this beautiful handmade necklace. It basically represents the island Grenada or her whole mission basically, Barbados. But I love it, it's so pretty and yeah, you don't care about that. Anyway, moving on. I've seen this tag floating around for a while and I've always kind of wanted to do it but didn't know when it was the right time to do it I guess. But this is the this or that tag. So this tag is split into sections, so the first section is makeup. And what better way to start this video? First question in the makeup section is blush or bronzer? Now, I was going to originally say blush, but then I did a bit more thinking about this and I actually have a bronzer, wait well, it's a blush bronzer powder. I just think most bronzers you can use as a blush, especially that one, which is the Amit blush 108 powder and I just think if you have a bronzer that does both jobs as giving you a nice blush cheek and bronzed up face then I think bronzer is a good bet to go so bronzer. Lip gloss or lipstick? I'm gonna have to say lipstick because I did go through a phase when I was much younger that I loved lip gloss non-stop like I loved it but I just feel lipsticks are more practical especially matte liquid lipsticks they are heaven. They're the bomb. Revolution. Eyeliner or mascara? Now with this one it's a bit more difficult. I love my eyeliner but on a day to day basis I do tend not to use that much eyeliner. So I'm going to have to go with mascara because mascara is kind of almost like a makeup essential. Like you have to put it on to make your eyes a bit more awake. Well you don't have to put it on but I feel that I have to put it on to make my eyes look a bit more awake. Foundation or concealer? Now, since I never really used concealer much when I was younger, I'm gonna have to go with foundation because you can just double up on the foundation under your eyes or in those places where you want the extra coverage. So yeah, whereas if you just have a small tube of concealer, it's not gonna go that far. Neutral or colored eyeshadow? Now, if you knew me about seven years ago, I probably would have said a colored eyeshadow because I had this palette which had like over 150 odd shades and I just loved it but I had like blue eyeshadow, green eyeshadow, orange eyeshadow, yellow eyeshadow, red eyeshadow. I just wore it to college and I loved it. I still would love it but blues, I, I, I don't really go well with blues anymore um, but I think lately it's definitely, as I've got older, a more natural eye, but I do like my shimmers. I have to have a bit of shimmer in there, just to make my eyes pop a little bit more. Pressed or loose eyeshadow? Definitely pressed, because I find loose can get a little bit too messy. Brushes or sponges? I have to go with brushes. I never even used any applicator about seven years ago maybe more than that, maybe about nine, ten years ago, I used my fingers and that's when I wasn't really, you know, that great at makeup but just did the normal thing every day. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to say brushes though I do like using a sponge for my concealer and foundation to blend it out. I just think it looks a bit more flawless than a brush does. Moving on to the next category. This category is nails. First question is OPI or China Glaze? Now, hand on my heart, I have never used OPI or China Glaze. I think I'm missing out, but I can't really voice that opinion because I use a lot of Barry M. So, Barry M. Does that count? Long or short nails? Now again, seven years ago I would have had really long nails. I loved to grow my nails out and I just feel that short nails are a lot more practical with any kind of job. Even like makeup, like doing my own makeup, I really much prefer short nails. Short nails, gotta love them. Acrylic or natural nails? Now, a couple of years ago I would have done acrylic nails like all the time like there would be periods where I had nail polish and you would never ever see my natural nails I would always have like a different design every three weeks because that's how long my nail polish lasts like sometimes after two weeks it would start like chipping really bad and then it would have to come off 
within a couple of days. Some people I hear have their nail polish on for a couple of days and then it chips. With me it's normally halfway through the second week but sometimes I can leave it till the third week. Depends what mood I'm in, depends what it looks like, depends how bad the nail polish is. But most recently I haven't done my nails a lot that much. In fact the last time I did was at Christmas. Before that was, was holiday which was like August so I've had a bit of a gap. So at the minute I would say natural nails but I do love doing my nails. I really do. It's just, I don't have that much time anymore. <laughs> brights or dark nail polishes? Now, I'm gonna have to say brights. I do like my nails to brighten out my look or kind of like match a look that I'm gonna go for or plan to wear. Um, that includes with my makeup, with what I'm wearing. So I just feel brights are better in the terms of my outfit or style. With darks, I can't wear black nail polish to work, that's a forbidden thing. I used to love wearing black nail polish, like I really love wearing a black nail polish. A flower or no flower? Now I loved doing my designs, I never really did a flower, it was always like stars or swirls or little dots, but I'm gonna have to say no flower. I like them to look a bit more simple and plain. <laughs> plain but cute. Plain, simple and cute, I guess. Moving on. The next section is fashion and there's a lot more of this or that in this category. So, first one is jeans or sweatpants. When, when I, like throughout the day I'm just thinking I cannot wait to get home in my pyjamas. But, in terms of time and how long I wear them for, I'm gonna have to say jeans. Maybe. Can I say jean pants? sweat jeans. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to say, oh it's such a tough one. I don't know why it's such a tough one for me because I love my coziness. I'm gonna have to say jeans. I'm gonna have to say jeans. I wear jeans more I think. I feel that I wear more jeans more. Around the house I wear sweatpants like non-stop. But jeans. Jeans. If I'm gonna go out in public it's gonna be jeans. <laughs> Long sleeve or short sleeve? Oh it depends on the weather or the season. Like in the fall or the winter, it's definitely long sleeves, even though I'm wearing a short sleeve today because it's quite cold. I, I might actually put a cardigan on. <laughs> I thought about that before this video, but it depends on the season. So, now because I'm doing this video now, I'm gonna have to say long sleeve. I really like my long sleeves, I really like my arms covered up. Dresses or skirts? Now, my friend asked me this the other day, or a couple of weeks ago, and I said skirts because I love matching a top with a skirt, like I love kind of, I go to church a lot, I go to church every Sunday so I either have to wear like a dress or a skirt and most of my outfits are skirt based. I do have a few dresses and it's quite hard for me to find a dress that I like whereas with a skirt and a top they're two pieces, they're two set pieces so you can match them together and make a really nice unique outfit yourself. So I'm going to have to say skirts, I love my skirts, yeah. Stripes or plaid? I think I'm gonna have to go with plaid. I absolutely love the plaid pattern. Um, like anything tartan, anything plaid, I just really, it really grabs my attention. Stripes, not so much. Plaid all the way, especially around Christmas time. I have plaid tartan red jeans, which I absolutely wear to death at Christmas. <laughs> Flip flops or sandals? Sandals, all the way. I've always loved my sandals. So it's gonna have to be sandals. Flip flops, they always like fly off my feet or I trip up. So yeah, sandals. Scarves or hats? I never used to wear a hat that much. Between like when I was about 13 till 20, I never really wore a hat that much. But now I really like, I started getting so much into summer hats. A few years ago I really wanted some summer hats because I didn't have any and then I started going into the winter hats. But I'm gonna have to say scarf. Like even if it's just a cool day, I don't, want, I don't want my neck to feel cold, whereas my head can handle it. I've got my hair, so yeah. Studs or dangly earrings? Now with this one, I'm gonna have to say studs. Again, 10 years ago, it would have been dangly earrings all the time. Especially around the age of 11 when I got my ears pissed, I wanted to wear dangly earrings and all kind of different earrings. But nowadays, studs are more practical, they're easy to put in and they don't weigh you down and I just feel most of the studs these days are really cute whereas the dangly earrings are a bit more like meh. I don't really want my ears to look any longer than they already are. <laughs> I don't know, that makes no sense. I'm not even wearing any studs, I just thought that, wow, I hardly ever not wear studs, it's because I had a, a bath and 
Now I forgot to put my earrings in. Oh well. Necklaces or bracelets? I'm gonna say necklaces. I have to wear a necklace half the time. I'm wearing my sister's Barbados one. So, you know, I just feel like my neck is a bit bare when I don't wear a necklace. Heels or flats? Definitely heels. No, what am I on about? Definitely flats. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. No, definitely flats. I have to wear flats. Like I do have a few heels, like two, I think. But, but flats, definitely. I love being flat footed. Cowboy boots or riding boots? I'm gonna have to say cowboy boots. I've always wanted a pair of cowboy boots. I even went to the extremes of trying to find a perfect pair on eBay a couple of months ago, but yeah, cowboy boots. I just love the nice designs, the patterns, the colours. I just really like, I really want my own pair of cowboy boots. I really do. I need to get some. Jacket or hoodie? I'm gonna say jacket because there's a zip on it or buttons so I can take it off really quickly rather than taking it over my head. I mean, the amount of times I've put a hoodie on and then I'm having to like, lift it over my hair and my hair's like really nice and neat and then it gets a complete mess when you take the hoodie off so I'm gonna have to say jacket just because I can unzip it, unbutton it and be out of it in like 10 seconds. Forever 21 or Charlotte Ruse? Now I've never been to Charlotte Ruse so I'm gonna have to say Forever 21 and I love Forever 21. Every time we go to London I have to go to Forever 21 though half the time I find the better stuff on their website than I do in store. Abercrombie or Hollister? I'm gonna have to say Hollister. I think I have one thing that's that's by Hollister. I'm not really one for fashion brands. Like I'm not really one that's fussed about if it has a name on it. I like my certain shops where to buy clothes from, but just not like, I'm not too fussed about brands to be fair on clothing, I don't know. Saks Fifth or Nordstrom? I'm gonna say Nordstrom. I've only bought one thing from Nordstrom, but it's just so expensive to get stuff from there to the UK. Next section is hair and since I've been crazy about my hair for the past 10 years this is a good one I'm, I'm excited to do this one curly or straight curly I know it's straight at the minute but I love my hair when it's curly I just feel more I just feel more beautiful I guess I just feel more myself I love the kind of wave and volume it gives to my hair I mean when it's straight I just think it looks a bit flat in my opinion but yeah curly all the way Bun or ponytail? At home when I'm like really relaxed, I love to put my hair up in a bun. It's just all out of the way and it's just up and it's not gonna fuss anything around my face or my neck. Like when I'm reading or doing my work, I just don't like it anywhere here. Bobby pins or butterfly clips? Bobby pins, hands down. Hairspray or gel? I don't really use that much of either, but I'm gonna say hairspray. Long or short hair? I used to absolutely love my long hair. I still do love my long hair. I would go back to having long hair, but at the minute I am loving the short, like shoulder length. I just think it looks dead cute. I love it, especially with curls. It's easier to manage as well. And I just had it trimmed recently and I love it. I really, really do. <laughs> Light or dark? Um, since I am like a mid-tone dark brown naturally, and then I've got blonde in, in a minute, I, I love either. Like. I'm not one of those people who like, I really, really want blonde hair. I'm happy with the colour of my natural hair tone and shade and the way it feels, everything. I just love how my hair is. But at the minute, I am loving the blonde. I just, I love the light colours. And I had red and orange a few years ago, so that's kind of bright. So I'm gonna have to say like bright and light. Yeah, love it, love the colours. Side sweep bangs or full bangs? I'm gonna have to say side sweep. I've had them ever since I was like, what, 13? I had, I had bangs, like full bangs for so many years and I just don't think it suited me. And I just, I didn't like, I don't know, I just don't like it because it overshadows my glasses. I like to see my face. Do you like to see your face? <laughs> Up or down? Down, 100% down when I'm going out in public. In between washes, I just love my hair up at home because it feels a lot silky and smoother the next day when it's been up overnight. But then if I leave it down and I'm sleeping on it, I feel like my hair gets a lot more greasy. So up at home and then down during the day. That's not really a this or that, but I'm gonna have to save down. I just, I love my hair down. Last section. This section is random. This has nothing to do with like beauty or anything. Rain or shine? Shine all the way. Love, love shine. Just love anything heat with the sun blaring in my face. I just love the light. And today is like a really gray and miserable day. So 
I've got light inside of me, that's why I'm happy. <laughs> summer or winter? If you know me personally, summer. Summer, 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 all the way. Love summer, love stripping things off. I know that sounds a bit odd, but I just love having, I just love wearing less clothing. I love putting, okay, I seriously can't talk because I'm talking in the background. I absolutely love summer, I love wearing less clothing, I love going on a holiday, and it has to be sunny when in the summer. I just prefer summer. Fall or spring? Now, a few of you guys may think I'm going to say spring, but I absolutely prefer fall. I love the fact that after summer, you've got, you've gotten like your tan, you've, you've been feeling so hot for months sometimes and then it starts to get cooler and you want to wear a bit more layers and then I just love the fashion and the style and the makeup in fall I just love all the different colors that fall brings to you whereas spring's really nice as well and yeah summer and fall they're my favorite two seasons I love them chocolate or vanilla I'm gonna have to say chocolate like when I think of chocolate I think of hot chocolate I think of the galaxy chocolate um, but then when I think of vanilla, I only really think of like ice cream or yoghurt. I do love my chocolate. Candles though, vanilla. Vanilla all the way. But mostly chocolate with everything else. East Coast or West Coast? Now, this obviously I think means based in America. So I'm going to say West Coast because Katy Perry. I mean, come on. But that is the last question of this this or that tag. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I love you guys and I will see you again shortly. Bye. Which is the meat blur? Oh, well, well, well. But he's not actually called that. He's just called hit. But we always call him Mister Hit. Mister Hit. Robin Hood, the cartoon one. Brothers on about Robin Hood. I always thought it was Mister Hit. It's just all out of the way. Ooh. It's just all out. Oh my gosh! What am I doing?